Last day of practice ended in storms and the tournament starts tomorrow morning. Yeah, it's only what, five o'clock? Yeah. Apparently burning the chicken. Okay, we're burning the chicken. Good thing is I got a lot of my tackle done, majority of my rods, but I feel like I still need to change some stuff. It's kind of hard to do that with the rain. But nonetheless, Lake St. Clair, we're here. Thought I would find more than what I found. We need a good tournament. We want to try to get a top 10. That's the goal. But we got, I don't know, we'll know tomorrow, put it that way. We'll see how, uh, I basically got a couple areas inside the football field that's got bass on them. And I've been in a lot of places that don't have bass on them. So why they're here and not there and not there and they're here, I don't know, but just get out there with your active target, just sit there and snipe them down, laser beam them. I, I never really feel good until after the first day of the tournament's over because you got a lot of stuff to learn. So it does concern me with the amount of pressure we could get, but we'll see after tomorrow and see how it shakes out. Probably try to fish some new stuff too that looks like it should have potential, but just grind it out. Try to catch that 21, 22 pounds would be ideal. So 22, that's what we're shooting for, 22. Anything ab above that's a bonus. Day one, Lake St. Clair. We got the flag going. It is uh, a little bit windy. We had a major storm last night. A lot of thunder, lightning. It's never good for fishing in general. So you got that coming up for a derby or you're going fishing. If it's thunder and lightning at night before you go, probably not a good thing. But hopefully it doesn't affect them as much what I think it would, but regardless, they're gonna bite at some point today. Just getting around five of the right fish. Uh, I think everybody's gonna catch fish. It's just, how do you get that quarter to a half pound better quality fish than everybody else? After today, we'll know a lot more, and then we got a long day tomorrow, which is a big deal. Boat number two, we gotta go catch them. Three events to go. Starts now. Let's officially get this party started. Three stops remain, all in the north, kicking it off here in beautiful Michigan at the Atco Bassmaster Elite at Lake St. Clair. Think it's four? If it's not four, it's probably just under it. Nice.
order, probably. If this rested and you came back in an hour and nobody pissed with it, you pull back up and catch it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that was a nice load up. Digging. I was Digging. watching that. Digging. Four and a half, ten, like twelve minutes ago. Got our angler of the year, rookie of the year, points, all sorts of stuff, requalifications, all of it on the line comes down to these last three events. But Lake St. Clair showed out as it always does. You guys are not shocked. There's going to be lots and lots of fish crossing this stage, and we will find out who our top 50 are. The top 50 get the fish on semifinal Saturday. Top 10 fish on championship Sunday. Five fish here today for Hunter Fryer. Looks like a good day. Day number one. 19 pounds, 14 ounces. 14 ounces and Hunter Shryock moves into third place currently. So Hunter, have a decent day, 1914, gotta be happy with that. I feel like we survived the day. I didn't know how things were gonna shake out, but uh, you know, we're here at St. Clair. You're one bite away from having that big bag and you know, five, six pounders go a long way. So I'm gonna keep the Berkeley Max set loaded up, keep those Abu Garcia spinning rods loaded and we'll go to town. You can roll them, we'll see you back here tomorrow. Weigh-in is currently still going on, and we are somewhere, hang on. You gotta sniff that thing close, because if you don't, that little fluorocarbon tag line will catch on your spool when you go to cast. It's not good. It creates lots of issues and curse words, because then that rod's done for the day. But, anyhow, we're somewhere mid-pack. We are in 33rd place with 95 guys weighed in. So it's gonna take like 19 pounds a day to get a check. Pretty impressive for St. Clair. Really impressive. Especially for the time of the year. We learned some stuff today. We survived the day. The question is gonna be, is how bad are those fish gonna to react tomorrow because they got obliterated today. That's even a word, obliterated, obliterated, <laughs> obliterated. So, I don't know, we'll just have to go see fish around. I know there's five, you know, five fish for 20 pounds at least out there, but it's, they acted really goofy today. So hopefully tomorrow if they step back up and be a little bit more normal, um, and be more aggressive again that would help but we'll see we go catch 21 pounds like a lot of the people did around us and boom up the leaderboard we go so consistency is the name of the game here get all 15 of these abu garcia rods rigged up see you guys in the morning you want to explain why we're calling our son turbo or why we've been calling our son turbo I bet a lot of people don't understand where that came from. <laughs> um, so, Turbo, he was named Turbo immediately before he was even probably brought into this world because when I raced dirt bikes, I used to, uh, there was a kid, he was out west, 
I'm not really sure, but his name was Turbo Reef Turbo Rife. And I thought that was the coolest name. Like when I seen that on the lap time sheet or the race sheet, Turbo, he's fast. I mean, <laughs> I was like 12, 13 years old. I'm like, dude, this kid gets it. So I just always thought that would be a cool name to have, obviously. Who wouldn't want to be called Turbo? So it has nothing to do with diesel, turbo boosted, nothing like that. Kid that raced that had the name Turbo. And I think he actually was pretty fast. Don't remember those many years ago. But now, Turbo. So I don't know if that's going to be his name. Uh, no. It could be because we still haven't come up with a name and he's like getting down to the wire. Yeah. So at least he's got a pretty dang cool nickname if he doesn't get that for his real name. True, everybody on the road calls him Turbo. Who wouldn't? It's kind of stuck. Drop now. a comment below on whether or not you agree with Turbo. Turbo Wayne. Tell him, yeah, tell him that that's not a good actual name. Um, no, that's a good name. <laughs> I don't know how I'd feel when I'm like, if my name was Turbo and I was like 34 years old right now. I don't know how I'd feel, but it's besides the point get used to it. How my name's Hunter, so I don't hunt, just a name. But he's gonna be fast. Fast at something. All right guys, day two. We survived yesterday, but not what we really wanted, but we survived it. So big day today, goals 22. Move us up the leaderboard quite a bit. So we're gonna go see how we can do it. We've got a long day today. So you guys seen what happened yesterday, the last 20 minutes we called from 17 something all the way up to 20. So, get after him. There you go. Oh, wait, awesome. I'll wait on the mess for later. So. Okay, <laughs> good deal. Yeah, he won't want to get one with me later. He's like, get me the hell out of this boat.
Yeah. Uh, can you see them take your bait before you set the hook, Hunter? I see them react. I'm gonna say, because a lot of times I can see where you like, you, you, you pull back and like, before you ever set the hook, it's like. Yeah, I start to lean into them. See how that one got it. No, he didn't get it. No, that was two of them raced over to it. There he is. Uh -oh. Come on, stud muscle. Come on. It is a big one. It is a big one. A giant, giant, giant. My heart's getting three beats there, kid. <laughs> That's a freaking tank. <laughs> Dude, it took off. <laughs> we were on eight on the trolling motor and it was going. Today, five fish to add to that here today. Need 17, 12 to get inside the cut. 21 pounds, seven ounces with 41 pounds, five ounces. Hunter Shryock moves into 26th place currently. And he's gonna be fishing with us on semifinal Saturday for sure with 41 pounds and five ounces. 
Hunter, real quick, having a, having a good tournament. Get to go again tomorrow. Get to go again tomorrow. It's raining. Berkeley Maxens chomping. Abbey rods are bent. It's the same as yesterday. We're going to get after them. We'll get after them. Get out of here safe. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Twenty fifth place with fifty eight fourteen and man, what a week! Yeah, you know it was uh, pretty sporty out there today. I was glad I was in a Phoenix. I couldn't have done it without my Lorance Active Target and my X2 Power batteries. And uh, you know the biggest thing, I think the pressure just got to him. You know, seventeen pounds and you don't even get a clap. Can we get a clap real quick? All right, you guys are still awake. All right. This place is phenomenal. Y'all already uh, know that. Just take good care of it because these smallmouth are awesome and we want to keep coming back here for the future. Sure we will. Great to have you here. We'll see you at Champlain. He's a League Series rookie.